Hello, everybody from Different Strokes for Thursday's session at level four. So this session is suitable for those who are able to walk independently, albeit for the use of a walking or trekking pole, and that will be on stable surfaces. So we will be using um, a little bit of weighted exercises today. So have your dumbbells or your cans ready uh, for that, and have maybe a stable chair base or something you can hold on to while we do some single leg exercises and start challenging our movement patterns. Okay, so we'll get started with a gradual warm up and then we'll go forwards onto our weighted exercises. So we're just going to very gently start by raising up your knees, alternate sides, using that chair or walking aids to hold on to should you require. But just keep it going at a nice steady pace, keeping nice and comfortable as we're just starting to get our body's movement going. That's fantastic, so keep that going. And what we're going to do now is just gently drive the knees over across the body. So it's a little step to the side and then lift your knee up and over. So just a diagonal reach through the knee, well done. When we're doing these exercises, just to ensure that you are safe and maybe comfortable while we're going through. Fantastic, we're now going to kick our heels back. So lift your heels gently back behind you. Again, just gently alternate legs. Softly moving your body, warming up those muscles and joints. And now we're going to go onto a side step. Step over to one side and then step back over to the other side. So just keep that going side to side. Work at a tempo that you are most comfortable with. And also in terms of how wide those steps should be, again, work within your range, but try and get nice big strides out to the sides. Really start engaging those hips and thighs working your body out, and you'll get a bit of a pulse raiser from this one as well. Fantastic, we're now going to do a step forwards and then a step backwards, so just make sure you do that step backwards nice and safely. Land with your toe and then let the heel come down. So the opposite of your forward step. Okay, keep going as you are, but notice which leg you are stepping forwards and then backwards off predominantly. So me, it's this side here, my left, I'm stepping forward to my left, and then back, my right leg is playing catch up. So now sort that to the other side, just to help your body working through both sides. Might feel a bit strange doing it through the other side. That's great, keep that going. And then pause on the spot there and just gently rotate your body. So twisting round side to side. Just gently rotating, looking over your shoulders as you rotate to the side. That will just encourage your movement around. Well 
Well done. And then bringing your hands by your sides, gently lean down, lower your hands down to your knees as you bend side to side. Fantastic. Just take your feet a little bit wider again, bring your hands in front, and this time we're going to gently lean forwards and then lift our shoulders back up again. So as we lean forwards, try not to arch through the back. So good way to uh, do that is keep looking forwards all the way through the movement. So shoulders up, looking forwards, and your back will stay nice and flat. Working through your lower back muscles and the back of your legs as we're stretching through down and up. Keep it going. Okay, one more of those, well done. Fantastic, and we'll start limbering up the upper body, so pushing those arms out in front of you. So just nice reaching forwards. Your stroke reflected side needs a bit of assistance, then by all means, give it some assistance. Still allow yourself to do the activities we're doing. Well done. And now we're going to push those arms out to the sides. Fantastic. So keep that going, reaching those arms out. And now raise those arms up as high as you can, or turn it sides all together. Okay, relax your arms down, just gently shrug your shoulders. So lift your shoulders up and then let them drop down again. Up and down, that's good. Just keep it going. And start to work through the mobility of your shoulder joint here. So roll your shoulders forwards. And start to make bigger, wider arm circles as you're doing that. All the way through if you're able to. Gently take it back the other way. So gentle shoulder circles back to start with, bringing your arms and elbows out. So wider circles. Okay, brilliant. We'll do a few single arm exercises and then we'll get onto our weights. So raise your arm up and then back up and back. Good. So keep that going. Just working through your shoulder joint again. And just allow that arm to swing. Very good. Do the same on the other side. So up and back. Assistance if required, that's fine. Okay, fantastic. See if you can cross those arms over now. So just swinging your arms over each other. If you are able to do that, try and change which hand goes over the top each time. So right hand over, left hand over. If you do need assistance, swing your arms together. Still get that benefit 
Of those arms going in and out, very good. And pause there. Feel free to grab your drink at any point. Just hit pause on the video and then you can continue. You can also go back through any exercises we've done on this session or past sessions and uh, obviously put them together to do more sets or repetitions if you want to work on more specific areas rather than going from exercise to exercise like we're doing. So for the next part of your session you will need some weights. Uh, these are one kilo, so not too heavy, um, but even a 400 gram can of beans or less will be suitable resistance should you wish to use that. If you want to use a stronger resistance, a heavy resistance, then that's absolutely fine too. Don't go uh, too mad about the stones or anything at this point. Okay, so what we're going to do is gently rotate our body and push the arm through. If you do need to take a rest from your feet at all at any point while we're doing these, I appreciate we stood up for the majority of this. Just have a sit down in your chair and you can copy the exact exercise from seated. Okay, so first of all, we're going to rotate and punch and then rotate and punch. Good, good. So just rotate through the hips and then stretch your arm out across your body and just keep that going gently. We're working to within a time of a minute today. So it's plenty of time to get your reps done. So just make sure they're good quality. So slow it down if you need to and really focus on that movement. Good, halfway through. Keep working hard everyone, well done. Last couple of reps for you now. Fantastic, good, good. Take a short break after doing that one, well done. So now we're going to be moving on to a leg exercise. You still hold your weights. If you do need support or stability um, while you're standing, just put one weight down to the side and then you can obviously use that walking pole, trekking pole, or even the use of your chair should you require it, okay? If you are having to hold both weights, then carry on like that. So what we're going for is a wide step. So make sure your heels come out wider than your hips. And bring your hands just gently in front of your body and sit down to a squat and stand back up again. So gently down and up for those of you using some assistance. Have one hand down and still doing those squats using that stable base should you require it, okay? Fantastic, so keep that going again, work within a minute and we will make sure we get those reps done nicely and effectively, no need to rush, a minute is a long time to get plenty of exercise done, you're good. Fantastic, keep working just like that. Gently down, gently up. If you ought to do this seated, you can sit down and then come up to a standing position and then sit down again. Simple as that. Good, good. 20 more seconds, keep working now. Great work, everybody. And stop there. Good, good. Well done. Take a break again and we'll be back to an upper body exercise. Okay. Good, please grab your drinks at any point. Okay, so those of you that have uh, joined my sessions before, you know I like doing all this 
rotational business, working our wrists and grip strength. We are going to do that, but we're going to combine it with your bicep curl exercise. Okay, so what we're going to do, have your hands down by your sides, come up to a bicep curl, and then do your wrist rotation and come down. And at the bottom point, just rotate your wrist back round again. Okay, so you're going up, rotate, down, rotate. And just have a gentle pinch of those cans or your dumbbells, weighted objects, just to really get working your gripping strength. Engage those muscles, well done. Carry on. Very good. Gently up, rotate, gently down. Keep going now, 10 more seconds. And pause there, fantastic, well done. We'll go back to a low body exercise and then further in that we'll just do a bit of core work, okay? Okay, so the low body exercise we're going to do with your weights uh, will be lunges, and we're going to do forwards lunges. When we say forwards, we don't want to be directly in line because you're going to be walking and off balance. We want to come across to the diagonal, okay? So gently across either side. Okay, so if you're able to do that, holding both your weights, go ahead, continue. If you need to do it with one or none, and just holding the chair. For that extra bit of stability, give that a go. Well done. Okay, good. So just keep it going with those lunges. Just make sure you take a nice, good diagonal step forwards and you're bending both your knees. Try and keep your shoulders up nice and tall. So, what you don't want to do is leaning forwards over the knee. Okay, put too much pressure on the joint then. Just step, stand up, nice and tall, and then dip your knee. Gets us moving on to the core quite nicely that one as well, because we have to hold our core up quite tightly to perform this exercise. And pause there, fantastic. Good, good, good. So we're just going to do a couple of exercises for our core. Uh, still using the dumbbells, weighted objects if you can. If you do need that extra bit of support stability with these exercises, then obviously do please put one or both down and use support chairs, walls, tables, whatever you've got to keep you upright. Okay, so the first one we're going to do here is we're going to have one foot, just make sure you can see my feet on the screen, one foot in front of the other, okay? And all we're going to do, have your hands down by your sides, and we're just going to be gently raising an arm out. Or turn it if you can, so you can raise those arms forwards. You can raise those arms to the side, all you're doing here it's just challenging your balance, your center of gravity, by moving your arms away from your body. If you are finding that a bit too much of a challenge, what you can do is just alter your foot position to a bit wider. Like we did all the lunges, they're slightly wider, still moving those arms about, and it's still going to challenge 
your balance through these different variables. Good, good. Keep it going. And now what we're going to do is swap those feet over. So you have your right foot in front, or the left foot was the other way around before. So center of gravity changes again. Working your core muscles each time your shoulders wobble out to the side, or your hips wobble, or your knees wobble. That's where we're really kicking in and working our core stabilizers. So in a way, what I'm saying is it is good to wobble because your body has to work to stop you wobbling. <laughs> okay, so if you are standing there perfectly straight, just try and find ways to challenge yourself a bit further. Okay, well done, keep going. Moving those arms around. Oh, that one nearly got me. It's nearly there now. And pause there. Fantastic work. Well done, everybody. Good, good. Next one. Um, it's a bit easier on your balance, but we're going to be working through the waist and uh, abdominals a bit further. Okay. Might be worth a comment on that one as well on the post. So feel free to pop a comment in to let us know how you got on with that exercise with your feet in front or slightly apart and then moving your arms around. Okay, let's know how difficult or easy that was for you to do. <laughs> okay, so the next one we're going to do feet nice and wide so you've got that strong, stable base. And we're going to be bending like we did in the warm up, but each time you bend, bring one arm up. So bend to the right and bring your left arm up, bend to the left and bring your right arm up. So you're just raising your hand up towards those, uh, those ribs, okay? That's good. Keep that going. Few more to do with these, and it's just a slight adjustment for the next exercise. Okay, pause there, well done. So keep your feet part of where they are. And what we're going to do for the next one is we're going to take our left hand down towards our right leg, and then our right hand down towards our left. If you do want to do um, both hands down to alternate legs, that is fine too. Okay, so it's going to look something like this, just lean down gently. Come up and then to the other side. Try and keep your legs straight if you can. So you're working through your lower back. You can have a little bend in the knee, that's fine. But with your head position again, as I'm doing, looking through the camera to see you, uh, you look back, okay? So keep your head up, looking forwards as we're doing this. That's just to stop the, uh, the bad back technique position. So keep looking forwards. And just drop your hand down past the knee, we'll turn the sides. Good, keep going with that one. Nearly there, we'll have a good stretch afterwards. Okay, fantastic. And so there, safely put your weighted object down and come to a seat. And we'll do a good stretch of our full body. Just point down so you can see what will be going on here. There you go. Okay, so we're going to put one leg forwards, have your hand on your thigh, and then just reach down 
towards your sock. So leaning forwards and you'll feel that stretch coming up the back of the legs. So keep that there, nice and stretched through. Very good, come up gently and then do the same with the other leg. So push it forwards and then reach your hands down towards your ankle. Very good, and gently come up again, and this time we're going to lift our knee up. So pull your knee up towards your chest and hold it there. Very good, gently bring that foot down. And then do the same with the other leg. So bring the knee up towards the chest. Set. Okay, bring one knee out to that side and the other knee out that side so we can feel the inside leg already stretching and all you do is just very gently lean forwards and hold that position there now good so we've got a good stretch going on in the inside of the legs you can have your hands where you like rest them on your knees to the sides or you can even put them inside and maybe even just gently try and push those knees out just to feel that stretch even further okay hold it there hold it down Gently coming up, push your hands forward. So really reach those hands out in front, big push forwards. And then reach one arm over to the side, pull it in with the other one, or just hold onto your shoulder. Good, keep that there. And then change, do the same on the other side. Perfect, well done. Try and bring one or both hands onto your lower back and then push your chest forwards. And then finally from there, what we're going to do is bring the hands all the way down towards the heels. So knee forwards, trying to march the back this time, dip your head down, and then you've got your nice stretch down all the way through the back muscles. So hold it there, nice and gentle though. And very slowly, imagine vertebrae by vertebrae, clumping back together as we sit ourselves up nice and tall. Okay, and that's the end of our session today. So fantastic, thanks for joining. And um, thanks for obviously doing the exercise. Please do drop me a comment, let me know. Um, you're here and let me know how you got on. And um, it's always good to hear feedback. So if you, if you want to see anything in your sessions, please do comment as well and let me know. And um, I'm sure they can be integrated. So. Fantastic. Looking forward to seeing you all again next week. We'll be Matt from Brinkley Physical Therapy. See you later. Bye, everyone.